Hey, my loves, welcome to or welcome back to Ravina at Home. I hope you're doing well and that you had a great weekend. I'm Ravina Singh, a certified professional home organizer and management consultant. This week, I wanted to work on this newly decluttered area of my kitchen. This is the spot opposite my stove and right beside the fridge. It's actually a great space and I knew it could be utilized much better. Since the microwave was already here, I thought it would be a good idea to integrate some of my more used appliances as well. And I decided that these drawers would be the perfect space to create a meal prep or food storage station. I was very excited to consolidate all my prepping needs in one space and I am so happy with the finished product. So I thought I'd share the process with you all. I'm starting with our air fryer station in this shelf above the microwave. It's very convenient because it plugs right in and doesn't have to move from this spot. It makes prepping and cooking so much more efficient. Into this IKEA basket, I'm keeping all the air fryer accessories and inserts. Now I'm changing out the shelf liner and just putting everything away. Below the microwave is what we call our panini station. Can you guess that I'm all about creating little standalone mini or substations? Well, yes, I am. All right, so here I have my gadget. This is called many different things in different countries an equity maker, a jaffle maker, pie press, toasty maker. Okay, call it what you like, but it is such a versatile little thing. Comment below and let me know what this appliance is called in your home. Since we usually use it as a panini press, I keep the extra plates in this little box here and tuck it at the back. I also keep this trivet right in the front as they are so handy around the heating area and that's kind of what we have going on here. Moving down to the food prepping station, we are starting with this Ziploc bag or freezer bag organizer. It organizes baggies of different sizes keeping everything easily accessible and neat. I also got these acrylic organizers recently and they come in a few different sizes. I'm starting by putting away the slider bags. These here are my reusable silicon bags. And these are some jumbo size silicon bags I just ordered. I have some big plans for them coming up soon. Next are the slim and long dividers and I'm starting with the chip clips. I don't know about you, but my chip clips tend to disappear after a while so I thought I'd just stock up on some new ones. I also have some larger Ziploc bags over here. And here I've got a couple of these packet sealer tools. Behind that, there are some of these freezer labels for prep food and leftovers. I like to collect and reuse these sauce and condiment cups that you get with takeaways because they're the perfect size when you're packing a lunch. And then I also have these dollar store mini bottles for sauces too. 
which I'm just housing all these together. Onto the smaller dividers. Just some Sharpies for writing on the labels, some elastic bands, and I got some cello tape and these rolls of stick on labels as well. Over here, I also have a little space for binder clip. For the main event, I am so excited to have found these food wrap organizers with built in cutters. I love that they are white because that makes it look super clean and minimal. Into these, I'm putting away the aluminium foil, cling film, parchment paper, and some deli paper. I'm just going to give the drawers a quick wipe before putting everything away. And I'm adding some overstock at the back. I just use my label maker to label the organizers. And now it's time to start on dinner. I'm going to show you just how functional this setup is. I'm starting with washing and slicing up a crispy, juicy red apple. Zoe really loves apples, so she's going to get a couple of pieces. High five. Yes. Thank you. Next, I have some sliced karate cheese and also some ham. I'm heating up the panini press before putting some curly fries into the air fryer. And now I'm just going to assemble the sandwiches.
Next up, I wanted to surprise my daughter B with a vegan version so she can take that to work tomorrow. Letting it cool and then packing it up in some deli paper along with some pretzels, mustard and a pack of peanuts. I'm sure she's going to love it and I hope she likes the little note. Now I'm just putting away the extra ham and cheese in these amazing slider bags which are extremely durable and it can be cleaned out and reused again and again. And last but not least, it's time to plate up our dinner. Tonight is just me and dad for dinner. It's really nice to have something warm and indulgent during this rainy weather that we've been having lately. I'm serving the paninis along with a side of salad. The curly fries from earlier. And a warm bowl of tomato soup. And that's it, my loves. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And I hope to have motivated you to create your own little meal prepping station somewhere in your kitchen. Don't forget to comment below and tell me what that little appliance is called in your home. And until the next video, this is Ravina saying happy homemaking. <laughs>